Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the previous videos we have created a restaurant landing page where we were able to see all the, the, the restaurant list. Now we are going to talk about the menu page. So whenever you click on to the restaurant, we are going to show the restaurant information and all the menu available in that restaurant. So what we will do is let's go to our home page and we'll talk about the whole flow. So this is our login. And you can log in from any particular place. Now if you go to the restaurant. Then we will go to the restaurant landing page and we will come to this particular screen. Okay, here what do we have? Let's go to explore. Here we can see the items are coming, right? When you click on the exclusive, we are making a call, premium, we are making a call and we are able to show the restaurant list items, right? This is what we are looking for. Now, what we are doing is you can click on to any of this restaurant and we will we should be able to show the menu items from that restaurant. So what we will do is we are going to create another route which will be the restaurant forward slash menu forward slash restaurant ID. That will be the route parameter we are passing. Okay, like if I click on to this, the route for this URL, you can see the restaurant menu and the restaurant ID. So now we got this restaurant ID in the route parameter. We can make a call and get this restaurant, particular restaurant information, which will talks about the address and all the menu items for this restaurant because Menu item can be 10, 20, 30, n number of menu items, right? So what we are doing here is, uh, this is our menu page, right? And what we are doing here, uh, once you are landing to the menu page, here we are making a call. So we are using use params. This is uh, the hooks way of getting the data from the React router. So now we have these hook support, use history, use params, so I got the ID from this router and now we can use use effect to make a call and get the data for this. And you already know we are using uh, Redux. So we will also persist the, the current menu, current restaurant in the Redux state. So if we go to the restaurant template and the restaurant landing page. So this was our restaurant. So we are going to just duplicate the implementation. This was our restaurant landing page. And here what we did is we were using dispatch. And in the use effect, we did dispatch get restaurant, right? So we are going to use use dispatch and use selector. So go to menu page. Here we can say dispatch equal to use dispatch. And here we can make a call. We are going to dispatch this to get restaurant item, right? So this is our menu page. And we are dispatching get restaurant data. Okay. This is kind of action we are going to pass. And we are going to pass the restaurant ID also because we need to get a particular restaurant, not all. So get restaurant data now. The whole things came into the picture which is redux okay and then we will also write a uh, selectors now if you see this page here we are writing this selector so same selector we will be adding here data will be different we can use this in the restaurant and we can say oh okay selected selected restaurant this can be the state right and This is the restaurant. So this will hold our all the data, the restaurant menu, the restaurant menu address and all. So to populate this particular state, we are dispatching this get restaurant data and we are passing ID. So we'll go to the actions inside our Redux. And where that is, Redux actions. We'll call, we'll rename this to the restaurant action. restaurant.action.js 
and here we have already one so we will just duplicate this same logic here it can be another method which we have which is talking about get restaurant data we are passing the id we need to build these actions we are passing the id and we are dispatching this api v1 restaurant and this is simple get call so we are saying id data fetch restaurant success now uh, i mean i'm not using the the right terminology but here i'm doing a fetch single restaurant success fetch single restaurant failure now for a single restaurant just add this in the constant so we should not get any error and failure so these are the two things we have there can be another state you can have a loading and all but to get this quickly done this is the restaurant action we have we are making this call that single restaurant and now this action is different i mean the type is different so we need to go to reducer and talk about it okay this is our selected restaurant we are giving you and we are not giving you the type we are giving you only the data so in data you will get the whole payload so either you create a new reducer or so this is the data this is the message right so fetch reducer let's go to our reducers because the state is coming from the restaurant object so we have to manage it in the same object so let's create let's keep the same consistency in the payload we are sending that in the the payload dot data and now we can go to the reducer and here is our restaurant reducer we will just add the another logic here because there can be uh, another state we can have selected restaurant which is initially is simple let's say null okay now whenever you click on to any restaurant we got the call then this particular selected restaurant will be populated with the data so what we need to do here is we need to populate the another action we have and that is about fetch single restaurant access so If this is success, what we are updating the selected restaurant data with the the data we are getting. So this was our current state. In the current state, what we are saying is update the selected restaurant data with the action dot data we are getting action dot payload dot data you are sending okay this will populate the selected restaurant if there is any, any error then we will do the same thing from the current state we will set the error success and here is this is another failure and here in the error we will be setting the error whatever we are sending okay this is a simple reducer I'm doing object dot assign. You can th think about any other immutable way of uh, uh, getting the new state from the current state. Okay, so now we got the new state, and now once we see this selected restaurant is 
we are populating and we are using youth selector for the selected restaurants to receive we got the restaurant data now restaurant will have a menu a lot of things are there right so we will be able to populate that on the ui so let's see that in the next video where we will see this api is being triggered and this is going to be triggered on the component load because this is a use effect hook and if there is any id change but in the single life cycle this id will not change whenever you are publishing the new route then this id will change and you will keep calling this get restaurant data okay let's see that in the next video